The Teufel Streamer is a 300 euro network player, currently at offer for 250 euros. It comes with its own Ramfeld streaming technology. Teufel is German for devil, a remarkable name for a now 40 year young manufacturer of audio equipment. They sell their products online only with an 8 week money back guarantee. In 2011 they acquired the streaming specialist Raumfeld, leading to a large program of active loudspeakers with integrated streaming. The streamer is, as the name implies, a standalone network player. Let's see where it finds a place in your stereo. The streamer is to be connected to your router over either network cable or Wi-Fi. That way it can play from streaming services and internet radio. If you have music stored on your computer or NAS, that can be played too. Also a USB drive containing music can be used. The streamer needs to be connected over RCA cables to an amplifier with loudspeakers or a pair of headphones connected. You control the streamer using a smartphone or tablet. Primary functions can also be controlled from the top of the streamer. You can connect an analog source over RCA. The plastic housing measures 187 by 100 by 29 mm and weighs 280 grams. Apart from the logo, the front only contains a power light. All controls are on top with left three presets to start a playlist, radio station or album with. Then the skip and play pause buttons a free programmable button and the volume buttons. On the left a 5V DC power input that requires 2.4 amps, the USB-A connector for a USB drive with music on it and the network connector. Then the digital output on Toslink, a set of analog line inputs on RCA and a set of analog outputs on RCA, a Bluetooth pairing button a setup button and a recessed reset button are found on the right. When opened we see two printed circuit boards, the large green one and the smaller blue one. Let's start with the larger one. The general system control is done by this processor. Audio related processing, USB interfacing, networking and streaming is done on this board. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are done by this module. The wired network signal enters here and is then first galvanically separated by the transformers inside this module before going to the streaming board. The Toslink output is handled by this Wolfson chip and probably buffered by this one. The analog inputs are fed to these input modules before entering the Cirrus Logic CS4271 AD and DA converter to be converted to digital and sent to the audio processing on the streaming board. There the input is chosen and the audio processing is done after which it is sent to the DA part of the Cirrus Logic chip. A Texas Instrument line driver sends the analog signal to the outputs. Measurements could have been better. Above 20 kHz the noise increases quite steep from minus 127 dB to 77 dB. That is, of course, outside the audio spectrum but can have influence on the behaviour of an amplifier. Or can run your tweeters hot if your amp is capable of amplifying such wide band. On the low end the distortion increases clearly below 40 Hz. Let's see what we find back of this during the listening test. Setting up the streamer is just too simple to describe. Just download the Teufel Raumfeld app on your phone or tablet and follow the instructions. Once installed you start up the app and you are welcomed with this screen, but empty, I have already played around in it. The main screen shows the recent favourites, last played and our trends. At the bottom the current playing track, the player in use and the volume button. In the left column you see the menu. Here you can watch all favourites, the music on your hard disk, indexed by the streamer on albums, 
genres, composers and artists. It is also possible to browse by folder, recently added, all tracks and TOEFL favorites. To give the streamer access to your music, go to the settings and My Music Library. If you then tap Add Sources, you can see your DNA server or servers in this case and the USB drive connected to the streamer. I already added the Samsung T7 USB drive and the minimum server on the Syn8 Synology NAS. Let's go back to Settings and select Music Services, where you can activate Tidal, Soundcloud, Spotify and TuneIn, if you have a subscription that is. Chromecast appears not to be available on the streamer. Back to the main menu. Playlists show you no playlists since I have not made any yet. Line in switches the input to analog line input. Since I logged in to TuneIn, Tidal and Spotify, these are visible in the menu. Let's show you Tidal by going to my music and my playlists. Let's select one and play it. Tapping in the now playing part of the screen along the bottom opens the large now playing screen where you can also set repeat and random play, go to the playlist and add favorites. As you can see the app works swift, has a good structure but lacks features an app like Volumio have for artists and album information. Furthermore other streaming services like Cobus, Amazon Music, Pandora, QQ Music and others lack. It does do multi room though, although I was not able to test this since I only had one Teufel product. The streamer was connected to the Uptone Audio Ether Regen switch with Uptone Audio Ultra Caps 1.2 power supply. From there a fiber connection runs to the central switch on the third floor. The amplifier was the NAD C316 BEE that was connected to the Dali Oberon 1 loudspeakers. Those were supported in the lows by the RHEL C5 subwoofer connected to the loudspeaker terminals of the NAD using the RHEL supplied cable. Flag music files came from the Samsung T7 and the Minim server on the Syn8 NAS. The equipment is housed in a target rack. The streamer has a wide spacious stereo image with a fairly open mid-range. Lows lack any texture and sounds woolly. Highs are average. Sibilance is fairly well controlled. Timbre is good, not sharp, not stuffed. All relative to the price of course. Let's see what happens in setup 2. The network switch again is the Upton Audio Ether Regen with Upton Audio Ultra Caps 1.2 power supply. The amplifier is the Marantz PMKI Pearl Light driving the Acoustic Energy Radiance 1 loudspeakers connected over Kimber 4PR loudspeaker cable. They again are supported by the RELT5 subwoofer that is connected to the loudspeaker terminals on the Marantz using the cable that came with the sub. Flag music files came from the Samsung T7 and the Minim server on the Syn8 NAS. The equipment is also housed in a target rack. As was to be expected, the streamer is better at its place in setup 3. Here the limitations become too clear. Lows now are really muddy, mids are a bit stuffed, sibilance is insufficiently controlled for this level, you get the picture. It isn't a fair test anyway. The blue sound note that is a normal player is two and a half times the price of the streamer. I only report it here to give you a better understanding of the quality. Some people think that a 100 euro streamer is a good match for a 7000 euro tube amp. Well, it isn't. It is very well sounding, although not the best in class. But the problem with this streamer might be the limited number of tracks that can be indexed, 20,000, the limited streaming services and the lack of support for Chromecast and AirPlay. All depending on your needs and compared to other contemporary network players. It leaves it as an extension for a network of Ramfield streaming speakers. And on that bombshell I'll end this video. As usual there will be a new video at next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. 
If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video in the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you all next Friday. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.